Hi, this is Drew, and I'm going to show you how you can make a super quick, really delicious guacamole with just a few ingredients. You can see all we need is a couple of avocados, a lime, some onion, cumin, hot sauce, Tabasco is good, but I like the, uh, these other brands just as well, salt, and garlic powder. Yeah, you can go with fresh garlic, but garlic powder is more consistent and easier for me to get the right amount. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is cut the pits out of the guac, the avocados. All you do is make a slice around the, the whole thing. Twist. Now, take the seed out. That's all there is to it. Now getting this off the knife, a little bit careful. Now, the pit is always directly under where the stem is, so you always know that's gonna be the middle. Just cut it around the perimeter, twist. Now this one has a little bit bigger pit, and twist right out. If the pit doesn't twist out easily, that means your, your avocado is not completely ripe. Now getting the flesh out is just as easy. Just get a big spoon, scoop the meat out. Now there's actually a couple ways you can do this. You can either dice the, the avocado up like I'm going to do here, or you can use a mortar and pestle and you can grind it into paste, or you can even do it in a blender or a food processor. I'm just going to do the chopping way because it's the, the quickest and easiest, and frankly because the cleanup is the simplest. So now that we've got all of that taken out, just give the avocados a rough chop and go the other direction. It doesn't have to be chopped up real fine. It doesn't have to be real precise because you're going to be mashing this up a bit with a spoon once it gets into the bowl. So once you've got that chopped up roughly, go ahead and take that into your bowl. Don't worry about what you got all over the, the board. It's all going the same place anyway. Next up, I've got some onion leftover from the soup that we made last night. Just chop that up a little bit finer. Now this, you do care about the texture a bit. You want this to be reasonably small, but not completely minced. You want some texture. Okay, looks like we're pretty good there. And again, that goes into the bowl. Next up is the lime. Give that a quick chop in half. Just get all the juice from that. You only need the juice from about half the lime. And this also, besides adding flavor, the citrus keeps the avocado from turning brown, which is real handy. Okay, let's get everything off my hands there. Okay, next up, a little bit of salt. No, it's not real precise. A little bit of cumin. Now this, don't be shy with the cumin. This gives it a really good Mexican flavor. The difference between ground meat and tacos basically is the cumin. And it looks like I've got new garlic here I didn't open yet. So let's open that. And again, you don't need to be shy with the garlic. You're eating Mexican food, you're supposed to have bad breath when you're done. So, give that a quick stir. And let's not forget the hot sauce. Now this is very much to personal taste. Some people don't like any hot sauce. Some like their guacamole really hot. I like it with a little bit of a bite, but not so much that you get afterburn from it. So let's give that a mix. Now, as you can see, this is a chunky guacamole. That's just fine. Stays on chips real well. Not as good as a topping for burgers. If you want that, go ahead and mash the avocados up before you put the onions on.
And there you have it. Just a few ingredients and a few minutes, and you got delicious homemade guac. Mm. If you'll excuse me, I need to go finish this off.